Good morning, you guys. It has been already such a crazy morning and it's only 11 o'clock. It's just, our morning has been crazy. So today's Thursday, Gray had preschool this morning. He did not wanna go to preschool. Usually he's excited and happy to go to preschool and today he just wasn't feeling it. I don't know if he was just like tired or grumpy or you know, sometimes you just have an off day and that's what he was having today. He did not want to go. Um, I had to like drag him out of bed. I had to get him dressed. I had, I'm like, come on, I pay good money for this preschool. You are going. So I got him dressed, got him to breakfast. He's been like having a food strike lately. He only will drink milk. He doesn't want to eat food at all. It's such a struggle. And I, I don't like want to force him to eat. Do you see Berkeley? Porter noticed Berkeley. Yeah. And so I just usually will just leave the food on the plate, but nine times out of 10, he won't even touch his food. Um, I actually got him to eat a muffin this morning in the car on the way to preschool, so it was something. Yeah, I don't know what was up with him. He was just having an off day. I did get him to preschool, so that was good. And then we had this guy's 12 month doctor's appointment. Hi, Hi, Porter. Uh, Are we at the doctor? He just got his finger poke. He got a band-aid. He did so good, he didn't even cry, huh? He didn't even cry. Uh, We're actually in a new room. This one has animals. So that's fun. Don't eat the band-aid, that's yuck. He <laughs> got his head and his length and his weight and he likes the paper. He likes the crinkle paper. Mm-hmm. And they actually have books this time. <gasps> touch, touch, touch. Look how chunky you are. <laughs> so he had his one-year checkup. Um, we had a new doctor this time, uh, first time that's ever happened. Our usual doctor is on extended medical leave. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure if she's going to come back because she's kind of older anyway. So we had a new doctor and I was a little nervous about it just because we'd never had this doctor before and it was a male doctor and... I've only ever had female doctors, so, um, but actually I was very surprised. He was super nice. I really, really liked him. He's very detailed. He listened to me. I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed him. So he might be our um, permanent doctor from now on. We'll see how our old doctor does, but it was a good appointment. They took his head, weight, um, length. He's in like the 87th percentile for height. He's so tall. Weight, he's in like the 60th or something. And I don't know about head, but he was just really, really good. Hang on, I'm gonna put Porter in the high chair. Okay, sorry, I had to put Porter in the high chair for lunch. Are you ready for lunch? So that went really well. Um, the doctor said he looked awesome. They don't have any concerns. Um, they asked me if I had any concerns and the only concern that I talked to him about was the fact that Porter has like no interest in walking. And at 12 months, I just felt like he should by now. Okay, sorry I put you down. Um, I'm gonna feed Porter this little pouch. On preschool days, I just try to do like, uh, a food pouch just because it's fast and we don't have a lot of time before we have to go get Grayson from preschool. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I just talked about how Porter isn't walking and has no like intentions of walking anytime soon. He has started to like cruise along the furniture, but anytime like I take his hands and try to walk with him just holding onto my hands, he refuses to do it. Like he will not do it. Here, look. Mmm, what do you think? This is fruit and yogurt strawberry banana. Do you uh, like that? You want more? Oh, you like it. Is it good? So he listened to me and he was like, no, he's actually really good as long as he's uh, cruising along furniture, like he's fine. He said like kids have all the way up until like 18 months before it becomes like an issue. So he's doing just fine. He asked like 
does he say words? He should be saying at least two words. I'm like, yeah, he says mama and dada and kitty. Um, and he notices things. And so he said he's developing just fine. So no concerns that you want more. He really likes this. This is the first time we've ever done like a pouch like this. When Gray was his age, he loved these fruit pouches. And these are really nice for like on the go if you're traveling and not home for lunch or if you're in a, a hurry, kind of like we are. So anyway, that was all good. And then he got shots, which was the bad thing. Um, he got three shots, the flu vaccine, which he has to go get the second dose in a month. And he got the MMR vaccine and chickenpox. So good things. Um, he cried for each one. He hated them. But he did okay. Uh, the flu shot went in his thigh, which I thought all shots go until you're like a certain age. But the MMR and the chickenpox went in the back of his arms. So. They also did a finger prick, which I forgot they do that at the one year. And he actually didn't cry for that. We distracted him and he really didn't care. And they tested his hemoglobin, which they said that looks great. I don't really know why they tested that. I forgot to ask. I could Google it, I guess. Um, and then they're also testing his lead, which they said they'll contact me if the results are bad. When Gray did this for his one year, his lead levels actually came back high. Um, and so he had to be retested at the 15 month appointment and I kind of changed, I like fed him a lot more yogurt and milk and then we put a filter on our water because I don't know if maybe the lead was coming from the water pipes or something and then when they retested him again in this 15 month, he was fine. So it'll be really interesting to see how Porter's levels are. No, you don't spit it out. Look at him spitting it out, oh my goodness. No, we don't spit it out. Yuck, yuck. Gotta eat it. Sorry, this is like all over the place. But anyway, yeah, he, uh, they'll let me know about that. So he also got a finger prick, which he honestly just liked chewing on the bandaid on his finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. He's just spitting it out now. Are you gonna eat it? Am I giving you too much? You don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway, the appointment went really, really well. We're about to go pick up Grayson in about 10 minutes. We gotta leave and go get him. And we'll see how he did at preschool. Today, it actually feels like fall. So yesterday was the official first day of fall and it was kind of cold. It actually rained the entire day. I've never had a day like that in a long time where it's rained from sun up to sundown, like we could not go outside at all because it was so rainy. And now today it's like a high of, what, 50, 59 is the high. So it actually feels like fall today. Yeah. But this is the only day after today it's supposed to get up, like at one point it's gonna get up back up to 80. So this is the only day, which I prefer it. Like I like the cold, but not that cold. And this is pretty cold. <laughs> so anyway, we're just gonna finish eating lunch. Um, Porter's got some leftover muffin from this morning that he's gonna eat. Um, and then we're gonna go pick up Grayson and we'll see how he did at preschool. Gray is so funny at preschool, I'll always ask him, you know, a million questions. How was preschool? What did you do? And he just tells me bits and pieces like, oh, we read this book or oh, I played with this toy. Um, and it's really not a lot, which I get it. He's three, like he, he doesn't, probably doesn't remember a lot of it. Um, but it's funny because I'll ask him sometimes, I'll be like, did you sing a song? And he'll be like, no. And then I'll get a message like from the school, like we had a great time today. We learned about circles and we sing a circle song. And I'm like, I thought you didn't sing a song. <laughs> so I don't think he's intentionally lying to me. I think he just like, they do so much in two and a half hours that he just doesn't remember. So, and anyway, we'll see how he does. Hopefully he's in a better mood. Um, I definitely think he'll take a nap today, so. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, back to the doctor's appointment. We ended it with making his 15 month appointment, which I forgot there was a 15 month appointment. For some reason, I was thinking the next one was 18 months. 
But I think the 15-month appointment is kind of new. So he's going to go again in December. And then also we made another appointment for his flu shot. Because with kids, the first time they get the flu shot, they actually have to get it twice. I don't know why. So um, since he's never had the flu shot before, we made another appointment. It has to be a month in between two, the two doses. So I made another appointment for uh, next month in October. You want more? More? Mmm. Yeah. Yum. Is that good? He's actually eating. He basically ate like this whole thing. Oh, wonderful. And he's spitting it out. Anyway. So, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. So, Grayson is back from preschool. Did you have fun at preschool today? Yeah. Yeah. Berkeley's saucy. So these are not the clothes that I sent Grace into preschool in this morning. <laughs> if that tells you anything about how his day went. Oh my gosh, this dog is so sassy. So I sent Gray to preschool in a green shirt and khakis and he came out wearing that. I guess when he went to the bathroom today, he was going to the bathroom on the potty, but he just didn't pull his pants down low enough. And I guess he peed on his pants and so they had to change his outfit. I was thinking he had just like peed like in the middle of nowhere. Um, but he was actually trying to use the potty, so it's okay. But I think he's just not used to wearing pants. He's used to wearing shorts, and so it was just, it just is gonna take some getting used to, so it wasn't that bad. His teacher also messaged me and said that he seemed like he was really tired today. And I don't know what it is, but Grayson has just been off all day today. He's just been like whiny and tired and sad. So I'm not sure if he's just going through like a growth spur or if it's like the change in weather that's changing, making him sad or if it's this cold that he still has that's making him sad, but something's affecting him because he's not his usual self. So he was able to do preschool today, but I think he was kind of hard for his teachers. So that kind of makes me sad, but he said he had fun. He read books. They learned about sharing and they sang songs and I sang a song. Are you, did you sing a song at preschool? Yeah. What song did you sing? Did you sing the goodbye song? Oh, did you sing the goodbye song? Mm -hmm. How's the goodbye song go? Mm -hmm. Can you sing it? No. Oh, okay. So anyway, we're gonna work on peeing with pants. And we'll just get better. He took a good nap. He needed it. And this guy took a good nap too. Yeah, he had fallen asleep on our way back from the doctor, so he went to sleep a little later than usual. But he took a great nap. He seems to be doing just fine from all his shots. He's got one sock on and one sock off. <laughs> yeah, so we're all just kind of chilling. I don't know what we're gonna do today. Maybe just chill inside. I finally got the energy to go downstairs and get the boxes that had the toys that I put away over a year ago and change out the toys. So I brought out the old toys and put away new toys to change out in like three months. I plan on switching out every three months instead of once a year <laughs> because that was way too long. But the kids have been loving the toys. Um, they feel like they're new toys and so they're playing with them and it's keeping them busy. It was really, really a good thing to do yesterday because it rained all day so we couldn't go outside. And even today we could go out but it's really, really cold and windy. So it's just really nice to have new toys to them on days where we have to stay inside. So it was a really good thing. I braved the scary basement, got the boxes and put away the, the boxes again. So that was our uh, adventure yesterday. Super <coughs> thrilling and exciting, I know. This guy's getting over a cold. You got a cold? I swear, don't kids have colds for like ever? They've had these colds for over a week now. I'm hoping it ends soon. Oh, you guys, today's has been a really long day, so I was turning the sound off my phone. I don't know what's up with Grayson, but he is so grumpy and sad, and I don't know what's wrong. He won't eat. He only wants milk. Maybe he's sick. 
I don't know, we've been dealing with colds here, so I have a hard time believing he's got something new. I don't know, but he's just like, he doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to eat anything. He's just grumpy. What's wrong, Gray? Okay. So yeah, today was just a really hard day in parenting. Um, it's really hard to have a three-year-old who doesn't tell you what's wrong. So, if you have kids, <laughs> then um, you're doing a great job, and we'll get through this one day at a time. <laughs> but I'm gonna close out this vlog because I have to go snuggle my three-year-old because I don't know what's wrong with him and he just wants to be held. So, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.